Thank you, Guru, Papa. Jimmy. Thank you, Muji, all your lineage, all your teachers. I really appreciate to be here. I've been practicing meditation for the last 10, 15 years. I've been practicing very hard. And I have a problem. Yesterday, you said, bring me question for liberation. And I'm here because of this, because yeah. I want your advice on liberation. I have a problem that is anger. Yeah. I meditate twice a day, two hours, do my sadhana, practice yoga, silence retreat, one month, everything that I can do, all the paths, but I'm still anger, impatience. You're angry and impatient? Yes, Okay. especially with the people that I love. And this is not funny because my wife is suffering, because my mother is suffering, because the people who is around me is suffering. So this is not funny. I'm here because maybe it's a, a trouble of many people here. And I have been thinking about asking you this question since yesterday and meditate also this morning since 4 a.m. And I don't want to suffer anymore. And I want to give this shadow suffering to the people that I love. So. Please, Guru, help me. All right. Uh, I'd like to take a look with you. I would like to take a look with you at this. <clears throat> uh, well, clearly, there is some... Uh, the anger now, <clears throat> you say, it must be almost some kind of reflex. It just happens because uh, somewhere inside doesn't want to comply with this anger. It doesn't want to... It doesn't want to be with it. But it seems to be expressing by its own almost would it be a bit like this yes like um because i recognize when i when i calm down i recognize that i don't want to react in that way yes but in the moment that all the i don't know my afflictions make me unconscious i lose my consciousness yes. and i react and then i feel so bad yes. and it's a pattern that i cannot stop ah. i try all kind of meditations and psychologists ah. gurus Oh. And you are here, and maybe I died today. So oh. I want to stop reading this right now. I want to find liberation today. Yes. <laughs> Let me ask you first of all, is, is there any substance or message inside the angry, angry about something particularly? How does it manifest? Is it what? For example, uh, a reason. This morning, I have an, an argue with my wife. Because we practice uh, mauna, we practice silence yeah. in the morning. And if she speaks, I start to get angry. Even if we are doing meditation, it's just like breaking my rigid routine. Like I, have, I want to control everything. And I, I, I feel like this uh, holy anger mm -hmm. just because I'm doing spiritual stuff. And I start, I, I, this is but change with the time. Mm -hmm. Change when, when she points me my mistakes. Mm. And I said, why don't you don't point your mistakes? And I, she points my mistakes and it makes me anger. Uh, so it, it changed, the situation changed. Can I ask you something now? Yes. This, this, this angry one, this angry one, can we, can we now try to locate and identify, actually identify the angry one, the one for whom anger is, is coming up. Who is the angry one? I really want to, you have to go into this. And for anyone else, whatever it is that is your, your weak point, your vasana, your uh, deep impression, deep tendency, you can substitute anger for whatever, you will do it now. See, and you can use the anger as the smell, and you will, just like, for instance, if we suddenly, the smell of gas comes in this room, very strong. And, oh, everybody, they said, where is this gas coming from? And some people, and some good sniffers come, and then eventually, aha, he's here, here, Guruji is here, he's here, come. Said, Where is it? And they find it's coming from a certain place. Use, uh, you sniff out, use the anger to go to the source of the anger. Who is the angry one? 
look, look, if it can be identified. And we can take a little time because the mind often do doesn't want to accept this question. But you're going to try. Who, who is the angry one? The one who is getting angry. Scan. Scan. Search. See if you can locate and identify this angry person. Not just as an idea. See if you can find it. It's a very important thing to do right now. The anger we know. Anger we know. But will the angry one step forward, please? The natural reflex is to say, <laughs> it's me. I'm the angry one. But I want to break this down frame by frame. And What do you mean me? Me, the body is angry? It's not body is angry. The body reflects or manifests the anger, but not the body. What is the, which is the one who is really angry? And what is it that is aware of anger also? Is it the same? Because you say, when the anger, when the anger is really throbbing, I lose consciousness of my sanity, of my composure. Also, who is the one who needs the control also? What is it and why the control? Try it only to identify, only to identify, you know? Who is it that really needs to control? You know, like, I am doing my own control, you control your thing. You don't touch my control. Who is very touchy about it and needs to control? And why this control? And isn't all of this being perceived also? You say it's so loud that there is no space. Is there no space to observe it? Even in its loudest pulsation, is there no space to, to, to observe it? It's too late sometimes. It's too late. I can observe it, but after, I don't know, five seconds, yeah. I already made, made the damage. In, in my atmosphere, in my relations. Okay, when you're beginning to get angry, you can observe it, no? Yes. Okay, let's just start at the beginning when you can begin to see it beginning to climb. Okay? And maybe something says, look, you know, you better stop because, look, I'm getting angry. Stop, you know? Because when I, if I go to that point, I'm not responsible for what happened, okay? So, at the point where you can be responsible for where the anger is going, okay? Something is not the anger. A power is there that is not the anger, okay? So you stay in that observation, you see? Rather than be thinking, no, 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 don't come near, you know? So you're out there, no? Just be the watching of the place from where you can see the anger. Be in that conscious place where you can see the anger rising, but just be conscious. So keep your power. Keep your power, you know? And then watch and see if the anger can overtake to the extent where you lose your capacity to observe it. This is something I would really want to, to, to say. And it is very immediate in its effect also. Even if you feel at some point uh, something burst, maybe even more strongly, it may happen that because you begin to, to observe and to hold your observing, you know, even though you can feel it moving in the body, that is still inside the conscious field. Just be the consciousness, okay? And don't move with it. Don't move with that anger. Let him move by himself. You only be the consciousness. Okay, and let it and see how much it can go without your involvement in it. That will be a very striking uh, uh, thing. And I would love to um, uh, to be nearby or something that you 
you know, sometimes I say, look, you know, I don't know where you're staying. I can show you where I'm staying or whatever. And if, you, if you're coming to this place, you know, come, come, come in and give me a call and say, no, actually, you know, it's coming up now. It's coming up now. It's coming up now. I say, okay, okay, and we can talk. And I'm going to tell you just what I'm telling you now. It's climbing, okay? It's arising, but you are not aroused. The anger is arising, but don't be aroused. Just witness. You stay in this place. You don't have to witness like this. Don't be holding on, because even that is witnessable. Just be just only the consciousness. Just be the awareness of it. Just be the witness of it. You see? And don't participate. Don't be caught in the bubble of that movement. Just be the witness of it consciously. And see if it is stronger than you. And maybe first time it will come seem even more loud because it's almost like how dare you you know separate from me because it's gasping it needs the investment it needs the oxygen it needs the energy of your identity to fully explode and if you hold back it will suffocate from that you will tame it So I'm here for a little while. I don't know how regular your anger is, but let's see what happened. That is very important thing. And you know, it is very beautifully encouraging uh, to, to, to watch your own transcending of something like this. To feel that you have this power, you see. Because it started somewhere and it, it, it kept growing, it kept growing. And uh, in the same way, it has to start, either it goes like this or it starts to climb. And you can watch him. And please come back and tell me what you are discovering. Thank you. Very good.